Skip called me and he said, I am excited to call and offer you the open position of sales representative in Augusta, Georgia. I thought, man, that is the way that you make a formal job offer. And then I thought, wow, this is really happening. It was my first big time, full time job out of my time as a student. Pfizer was allowing me an opportunity to be a part of their mission and I was beyond excited. It was my first big time role. I can still tell you where I was sitting when the call came in. The final stage of the core hiring process before onboarding obviously is the final offer. It's that call, it's that time that is very milestone-ish. It's monumental. This is a time of both explanation, question answering, and a little bit of ceremony. Before making that call or setting the time, make sure that you have all your I's dotted and your T's crossed. Job roll, check. Notes from the interview process, check. Onboarding process written out and available, check. Compensation details and structure, written offer letter, employee agreement, next steps checklisted, and the start dates on everybody's calendar. Now you're ready. So start off the meeting with the direct reason you're there. Hey, we're excited to formally offer you the open position here at our business. Then explain what's about to happen. So just simply say, we'll walk you through all the details that you need to know, and then we'll check in with you to see what questions you have. We will then give you two business days or whatever the timeline is through your decision and set a follow-up time to take the next steps. Now, from there, lay out the job role again. Just lay out in front of them. Here's what we're agreeing on. The expectations of that person as the employee, the compensation details, and any other checklist items you've prepared and how they get each one of those accomplished. Stop and ask if they've got any questions and then it's time to wait. Knowing that you've put in the hard work up front and you have created an opportunity that any candidate will have to remark about as being unique. Now, we're not to onboarding yet, but this is an incredibly important time. You are displaying your care and leadership through the entire process. If you have been prepared and fair in your role layout, compensation, and expect expectations, they choose to not accept the position, then you have got to trust that the candidate would not have been a good fit in the future. One note about getting into compensation negotiation and back and forth. If you put out an offer and they come back, all compensation must be built through a view of business rev revenue and profitability. If a candidate requests an additional, let's say, 10% of compensation, then you have to go back to the books and demonstrate how their employment in that role can profitably generate the additional revenue. Again, it's not just the additional 10% of their salary that you have to generate revenue. It is the additional 10% of the, uh, of the margin of that. So it's the 10% plus in order to get to the total revenue. So once you back out all the expenses, you can get to that profitability mark of whatever increase of compensation that you're offering to them in a back and forth. Do not be a business that compensates based on what the employee necessarily needs because an employee's needs range all over the place. You could have a sales rep at company A who needs $300,000 and another sales rep at the same company who needs $50,000. Be a business that compensates on what the business can afford to pay. Of course, your compensation must be fair and generous, and it must be profitable. This is an exciting time, and regardless of the outcome, you know you have put in the work that will benefit everyone moving forward. Do you have a healthy business? Are you a healthy business owner? You can take the quiz right now. Just go to mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash healthy for the Healthy Owner Business Assessment. It's a beautifully designed assessment to walk you through different categories like vision, mission, values, clarity, and implementation. Also, the dynamics of your team, personality, and a variety of other general categories to help give you a score of the health of your business. Once complete, you'll have the range of your score along with an explanation video to help you understand some next steps into being liberated from the chaos of working on your business. So go to mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash healthy to take the assessment right now.